Today we're going to be taking a look at the best wiring options for your 2007 Honda Fit. Here we've got our best options so you can have a four pole connector to provide the lights for your trailer. You've got the Takancha, part number 118420, and the Kurt, part number 56011. The main differences between these two harnesses are the shape of the control box and their power output. The Takancha's control box is going to have all the wiring coming out of the bottom. This is great because it can be mounted in a way that water can't pool on the bottom to enter inside the box. And this control box also has a potting material that goes all the way throughout the box to keep your wiring secure and connected to the circuit board and keep any moisture from entering inside causing corrosion, which gives this one a little bit more robust and durable lifetime. While the Kurt has its four pole connector coming out one side and the rest of its vehicle wiring coming out the other side. Now this can be a benefit in some ways by separating them, but it can also be not as convenient as the Takancha because it can take up a little more space. And the most common point for water entry inside the control box is the connector. So ideally you would have your wiring facing down to prevent any water from collecting on the ends. However, the power rating for the Kurt is gonna be rated at three amps for your stop lights and six amps for your tail lights while the Takancha's power rating is gonna be 2.1 amps for the stop lights and five amps for the tail lights. So you're gonna get a little bit more power for your stop and turn signals on your Kurt harness here. Now both of these harnesses are not gonna require any power from your battery. They're gonna plug directly in line on your factory harnesses. They're both gonna provide the same four pole signals to your trailer and have dust caps on the end to prevent corrosion. They're both going to work with five, six, and seven pole adapters and both control boxes are gonna be circuit protected. So if there's a short on your trailer, it'll shut it down and it won't affect your vehicle's wiring harness. Now in summary, they're both gonna provide you with the necessary connections at the back for your trailer. They're both gonna have the same ease of installation. Now when it comes to durability, I'm gonna to have to give it to the Takancha. Per our customer reviews, this one tends to last a little longer. This is likely due to the potting material on bottom that protects the circuit and also the angle of the wires so you can keep it so moisture doesn't collect on the bottom. But as far as power output goes, I'm gonna to have to give it to the Kurt. This one's gonna have nearly an amp more output on your stop and turn signals. So this can be important if your trailer has numerous lights for stopping and turn where you need that extra output. And when it comes to my personal recommendation, I would go with the Takancha. It's got a higher reputation for being a more durable product. And that concludes our best wiring options for our Honda Fit.